All right, what is up? Matt Tursick, Seth Murphy, back here for another Tuesday tour on a Friday, believe it or not. It's been a busy week because the market has been heating up. And this week, Terry Sprague of Lux Forbes Global Properties has been gracious enough to have us tour this fantastic listing. Seth, what are the stats? Yeah, this is gonna be four bed, three and a half bath. This is just under a 4,000 square foot home with an awesome backyard because it's sitting on a 0.6 acre lot. Absolutely, so walking up, uh, first thing you're gonna notice is you actually have a circular drive here with two entrances onto the road. Believe it or not, in Lake Oswego new construction, they're not really allowing this anymore. So this is something that I think is a super valuable feature that's been grandfathered in here. Really nice approach, plenty of parking. You've got a two car garage, but they're actually extra deep. Deep, so I think you can put four in there, we'll find out. And a good use of mixed materials with uh, very quality uh, siding with the cedar shake, masonry. I love the stone detail right here. Now coming right inside, you are welcomed by a three-way entrance. You have this amazing den with some good natural light coming in, beautiful woodwork all around, and then almost floor to ceiling windows in there. In the entryway, you actually have a really fun light fixture that that's some bubbles going on, Matt. And then right to our left, you have the formal dining room that leads right into the kitchen. Matt, which way should we head first? Yeah, let's come on into the main area, but I'm really glad you touched on that light feature because really they've got dialed in light features throughout this whole house, including this great room space. I can definitely tell the house has been updated in the recent years. This was built in 2011. So you have nice tall ceilings, great open floor plan, and a lot of natural woodwork as well as cabinetry throughout here. Yeah, as Matt gets cozy over next to the fire, he's sitting down on almost wall to wall slab in front of that fireplace. You got these beautiful beams up top. As Matt said, beautiful woodwork all throughout here. You got a great outlook into your big backyard that dumps natural light into here comfortable wool carpets and as Matt's getting up he's moseying his way over to the kitchen. Sam let's head over that way. All right and then stepping into the kitchen you are greeted by a massive island. Not only do you have seating for four with a butcher block right here, marble countertops, not one but two sinks, stainless steel dishwasher, 48 inch GE monogram range. This thing is beautiful. I love how they brought the marble up on the backsplash with a quality hood inset cabinetry and they've got updated hardware which completes the look in here really nicely kind of matches the more bohemian style light fixtures in here you've got a leap hair refrigerator it's been a while since we've seen one of these very cool doesn't have the black inside but that's okay and then you have a really big uh, bar area right here and on the opposite side i'm seeing two really cool features ice maker gotta have that and a sub-zero wine chiller really really nice kitchen seth what are you seeing over here? Yeah, stepping over here, you find yourself in a little breakfast nook, a more casual dining area. You get this really fun light fixture, this awesome wallpaper, but it's not wallpaper. I thought it was at first. It's a beautifully painted pattern on with a little blue in between all the white. And then let's step outside to your patio. Yeah, now stepping out onto your back patio, this is an amazing covered space that gives you a great territorial outlook. You got a nice little TV wall mount right there just so you can set up and watch some NBA playoffs. On the side of the house, you do actually have a little gate just to keep some privacy back here. The cool thing about this property is it's fully fenced. I like how they did a different style of fence that you can actually see through on the back, but the hot tub, that's gotta be my favorite. Linear gas fireplace right there next to it with built-in seating. You can actually hear a waterfall down the hill from here, which conveniently enough is natural and blocks out some of the road noise you might get from South Shore, which is pretty close by, but it's a perfect yard for kids. I love how big it is. I also love how all the trees are not on the property and behind the fence versus sitting right here in the middle of the backyard like you see on a lot of homes in Lake Oswego. All right, so before we head upstairs, do you wanna point out you do have a really nicely appointed half bath and little mudroom area. And forgive me if I'm craning my neck around. I woke up today with a stiff neck. Yeah, it happens. Comment below if you get stiff necks. Um, <laughs> stepping into the garage here, like we said, extra deep on this side, so I could definitely see you fitting two cars on this side. Probably not on this side, but I am very impressed by the cabinetry throughout here, plus the overhead storage. Now coming right upstairs to this landing, same wool carpet is in the living room, which is amazing. Off to my right, you have the first bedroom up here that has its own full bath. And then now we're stepping right back into 
kind of forcing Sam into the corner of this bonus room. They actually put down some hardwood so you can have a little game table, a little natural light coming in. The previous owner, which is an NBA player, actually had a little sauna right there, which I'm sure Matt wished they kept. But this bonus room also Jack and Jill's to this full bath. And then before we get out of here, another cool little feature is just this little bar top over here, some storage down below, just to make this place a warm and nice place to entertain. All right, and then continuing on this floor, watch out, there are a couple steps. I'm passing the laundry room right here on my left. And then Seth, what do we have over here? We got the primary here. Matt, let's take them that way first and end with the primary upstairs. All right, so we're ending with the primary. Over here, you do have two good size rooms with walk-in closets and a true Jack and Jill bathroom. I really actually like the tile finish in these uh, bathrooms. And you will note, like each one has a really cool little unique light fixture. Uh, so each room has its own theme. I like that little vault. Can't complain about that. Let's go over to the primary where Seth will uh, round us out. Now stepping into the primary, a lot of room in here. You got the vaulted ceilings, this nice window letting in a bunch of natural light, giving you a great outlook to the green space in the backyard. You got these separated night lights over here that each have its own outlet and two USBs, just keeping up with the times. You got the two-way fireplace that goes into the bathroom that's keeping us rather toasty in here, but that's why we got the fan right above us. Okay, so let's continue on to the primary bathroom here. I feel like I'm stepping into some hotel or something with A, how clean it is, but also just look at all this marble tile surrounding. It's on the floor, heated floors. Check out this shower. It's matching all the marble. You've got a freestanding tub and dual vanity with a little makeup bar off in the corner, which perfect size for Seth. But overall, this place is really nicely appointed. Let's head to the closet where I know he's probably sizing it up compared to his apartment. Yeah, it's a little smaller, but you can make do. You got access to your attic right there. You got plenty of shelving, good spaces to hang, and then a lot of dresser space in here. I just wanna comment on how dialed in this house is, especially for the price point of 2.1. I think they did a fantastic job with the staging. It's also cohesive to make it feel pretty updated for a 2011 house. And I think it's a great alternative to a lot of the higher price new construction actually in the Palisades neighborhood because you get the quality, circular drive, huge lot, and the square footage. Uh, so overall, I. Honestly, might write an offer on this one, you guys. Comment below if you're gonna write an offer on this or if you, if you have a stiff neck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment what you wanna see from us, subscribe because it helps us out a lot and we can show you more properties like this. And if nothing else, we will see you guys next Tuesday or Friday. Or Friday, yeah.